Hi, I'm Nate Sorello, and you're watching Photo Learningism. Today, I'm going to dig into one of the most talked about subjects in Paint.net. Can you work with vectors in Paint.net? Let's check it out. All right, so I have a picture here that I took and I've worked on. And I just want to demonstrate how this works. There is a special add-on that you have to get. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, and it is called Shape Maker. It is a tack-on to paint.net. The versions are listed here. Again, check out the link in the description. With it, it gives you the ability to create vectors and work with them directly within paint.net and transpose them and work with them on the canvas. So let's dig in and let me show you how this fits together. It took me some research, it took me some trying and and figuring out and watching the tutorial videos and I wanted to break it down very simply for you uh, so you could benefit from this and enjoy this added functionality. So obviously first you have to download the Shape Maker. Um, I would suggest following the link for the installer. It's kind of hidden behind one and the other here. That was very easy. It puts the uh, it parks the DLLs in where they're supposed to go and when you fire up paint.net at the next attempt it brings it in so do that one and fire up paint.net so within this I'm going to go into effects and then under advanced you'll see the shape maker tool and really what this is going to do for you is it's going to give you a place to trace very important to understand this. The image you see in the background here really doesn't do anything except give you something to work from. <laughs> uh, once you understand that, um, there's really no transposing that, there's really no shortcut into making geometry out of a flat, compacted thing. So you start from that and you can use the tools that are on top here. They're pretty self-explanatory. I'll just show you this one. Um, what's not self-explanatory and not intuitive is that you have to create points using the left mouse button if you're using Windows. That creates a point, right click, create another point, and the controls from there using the left mouse button become somewhat intuitive. Enter is to apply that, and that goes into the path list that creates uh, one geometry. And you can repeat that as often as you need to to create these uh, new areas. I'm going to keep this very simple here and just make some basic marks. And then I'll work out the rest of the process and show you how that fits into the rest of paint.net here. Because again, that took some research. So let's just say that I am now happy with these points and drawings and you could get very detailed here I'm doing a very very stripped down basic concept here for your benefit to see the process but let's say that I have sufficiently drawn out my my vector image so what I would do from here is under file I would export that shape and I'm gonna keep this here and I'm gonna call this Leaf test one. The only format that will come out of this is XAML or XAML. Um, so use that, save it. It'll tell you it's been exported. An important step from here, and this is not so convenient, I'll, I'll be honest with you, but it works, is you need to go to where you've exported that to. I've got mine here. And then you need to open up the shapes folder. Go to where you, you've installed paint.net and there's a shapes folder within and then you need to copy that in there. All right, so we can see that we've got that leaf test in there. This we're good with, I'm gonna click OK. And I believe you have to close and reopen for that to appear because otherwise, yeah, it would appear here and I'll go through that again in a second. So, yep, close. I'm not going to bother modifying that because I didn't do anything. I'm going to fire it back up again. Again, not so convenient, but it'll work. We're going to go into the Shapes tool. 
and we can now see that my new vector image is here. Now, at this stage, it is not considering this to be anything more than a compressed vector, which means that I can't go back into the specific geometry and modify the math behind it. I can interact with it on my canvas and I can play around with it and use this as I need to, which is really cool. If I needed to modify the vector, that has to be done back within the Shape Maker tool. And I have the ability to import it and then again work on those paths and, and make those changes and repeat the process. So again, it's not the most seamless, but once you understand those nuances using the right click, how you get it back and forth, this is really cool. You can work with vectors in paint.net. I hope that brightens your day. It brightened mine because this was just like, wow, you can actually do this in paint.net. That's so awesome. So use it. Keep working on your art. Keep digging into things. I wish you the best of everything. Thanks for watching.